Though I understand that these tears we shed for him are the same, will be weighed on the day of judgment like gold, and everything we did in his way will be like the most beautiful good deeds. And my heart bleeds. Hussein is all that I need. He's the first of my spirituality and the flame that my heart feeds on. And whenever I'm in need, I get down on my knees and I plead with the words, Ya Hussein, proudly on my tongue. And I know that he heeds and I walk the road he walks on. Because, because I know, I know where, where he, he leads, leads, leads to heaven, heaven where, where he leads as the master of the youth of paradise, paradise where his where father holds the keys, the and the only way, way I'll, I'll get there is if he intercedes for the wretched the person, person that is me. But there's, but there's more to just a tear. A tear needs to mean something. Crocodiles cry. When it comes to meal time, it doesn't mean anything. This tear is worth so much that it's measured by a fly's wing. But if we don't pray, we don't receive, receive intercession, i.e. It, it isn't worth anything. anything. If we spend, if we spend 10, 10 days making a medjus but, but can't spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes praying, praying, then there's then clearly, clearly something, something wrong with that love that, that, love that, love that, that we claim to have. have. That's really That's worth really investigating. Worth investigating. If we, if we use the hands, hands that we that use we to lament Hussein to, to beat our kids, our kids or beat women, women then how then ignorant are we of Hussein's uprising? The same hands are vast lost, lost when sacrificing, sacrificing all that he had for those women, women and children who from thirst were dying. dying. If we oppress, if we oppress others, others, no matter how small that oppression seems to be, be it mocking or bullying, harassing or belittling, then whose side are we sitting on? Hussein or Yazid? If we if give we our give money our to the measures, but, but earn that and same, that same money through money cheating and stealing, and stealing, or we stand, or we stand up when our own rights are taken away, away but, but don't stand up for others who are bleeding, or we see oppression and we hesitate because we think about all that it might take from us and our comfortable living, then we aren't taking on lessons from the same story that we keep hearing. If we can't ignite the Hussein within us, then which Hussein are we lamenting? If we if can't we defeat, can't defeat the, Yazid the Yazid within us, within us then which, then which Yazid, Yazid are we condemning? We condemning? If we can't, we can't implement, implement Hussein, Hussein in our life, then, life, then which Hussein, which Hussein are we remembering? remembering? So to so say to that say you that love Hussein, Hussein while you don't you follow Hussein, Hussein is a red herring. Because, because in the book of Ashura, his, his enemies can be read hearing that the reason he rose up was for the verse read that his grandfather read hearing revelation in his ear, yearning the perfection of mankind's morality. And yet we have the indignity to live in humiliation and not in dignity. And I speak for myself. If I want to be besides Hussein, then I need to let go of everything in my life besides Hussein. Everything that doesn't realize Hussein. Everything, everything that fails to live by Hussein. And by extension, that means God, because Hussein did everything he did because of God, who himself wants nothing more than for us to be like Hussein. Ask any one of us who inspires us, and we'll be like Hussein. Sad though, that so few of us actually want to be like Hussein. They call them they say in the hereafter they live on to extinguish flames and on the earth they unchain the glaciers that break away and begin to melt our sadness and coldness that we possess in vain. And when we build our lives in temporary form, like sandcastles, he breaks the shore and blows them away, and reminds us never to kneel in shame, not for a man, nor king, for every man must see us eye to eye, the same, a drop in the universe identically weighs, as it falls and dries and disappears, the many lessons we learn from tears, a natural anaesthetic that breaks away. Cascades down cheeks and heals the pain, the pain, and that's precisely the story of Hussein. Seventy-two tears leaving her, selflessly dripping away, dripping away into eternity. Where their names mean definition, and us mortals chasing expeditions, trying to understand each one by one the brave, the selfless, the young, and how these constellations guide the lives of those who call themselves the followers of Ali and the nine generations of sons.
both the life and in death, an encyclopedia of stars, plotted across the night skies, brought to life with every turn of the year, where the planets mourn, and the feet walk, and the cheek, the chest beat like fields of sowing seeds, and the angels oversee they legion signs and scents, where millions pledge their souls, hearts and years, and chant please. Honor us, Ya Hussein, by taking our tears. So to truly commemorate Hussein, stand up for someone suffering, be it from racism, domestic violence or bullying. Think about the secret burdens that people are carrying. Think about the apartheid, apartheid and lobbying. Those who your voices when there is nothing to say about suffering. Be there for the black man shot dead for his skin colouring. Be there for the depressed soul whose smile is shivering. Broken in need of comforting. Be there for an orphan's dreams crushed by his own starving. Be there for the refugee seeking refuge and yearning for a living. For the dreams that capsize at the bulbs that stop floating. Natives banned weeping from oil profiteering. Commemorate Hussein by acting like Hussein. Bar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad Salawat. Let's have a second louder salawat, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to you all. I'd like to thank my head bar for giving me this privilege of being able to stand before you and recite in trials from verses of love about the Ahabayt alayhi salam. The poem that me and Taha wrote, um, I think we wrote it from a perspective of just trying to get ourselves firstly to remember that the great majlis of Imam Hussain alayhi salam is not where it ends. The way I, the way I see I the great majlis of Imam Hussain is that it's where you come, you come to be inspired to go out into the wider world and make the changes that Imam Hussain himself wants to see in the world. So I want, so each, I want each and every single one of you, inshallah, to try and reflect when you leave, when you leave these, 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 doors these doors of this mosque. Don't, don't just shed a few shed tears, tears, as great as tears are, and then don't take those lessons into the wider world. When you leave this mosque today, inshallah, Take the Take lessons the that you've learned from today day, into yourselves and ask yourself, ask yourself as I ask myself every, every single day, day how I can I change can the world for the better, for the better just, just as Imam Hussain wanted it. And, and I, reflected I reflected a lot, a lot on, this on this message recently, recently when, when I went to Iraq, Iraq the past two years, years I went to Iraq to do the ziyad of Imam Hussain and left the glory and glamour of the central area of Karbala where the holy shrines are and went, and went out, out into the wider, wider suburbs, suburbs to see orphans, orphans and widows living in extreme poverty. poverty. Indeed, the, Indeed heart the heart breaks for any orphan, any widow, any widow all over the world. We see what's happening, happening with the Rohingya, Rohingya Muslims, for example. For example. And so and many so others that are being oppressed all around the world. The world. But there's something, there's something about, about meeting, meeting with these orphans, orphans and widows, especially in Iraq and especially in the holy city of Karbala, simply because many of them are widows and orphans for the reason that their fathers went out to fight ISIS, to fight terrorism and gave their lives as an ultimate sacrifice to keep us here in the West safe, away from ISIS. And the thanks that these orphans and widows get usually is living in a house, barely a house, with, with little provisions or anything. And I always tell myself, and I was telling some of my colleagues this, uh, this year in this trip, that I don't see these children, these children as simply, you know, Iraqi orphans, orphans that we must throw money at. I see these I see children, children as future, future artists, 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 future artists, artists, future directors, directors future, future thinkers, future, future scientists. scientists. But unfortunately, but unfortunately they don't they have the same have opportunities, opportunities that we do. That we do. So, I so I ask you all as well, well, well to inshallah try, try and support, support as much as you can, can, can uh, the orphans of Iraq, you know, through any organization that you see fit, I would definitely recommend the Sajjad Foundation who are doing fantastic work. I've seen firsthand in the Holy City of Karbala providing for these orphans, making sure that they get monthly salaries, making sure that they get the, the things they need in the house, and even um, trying to facilitate marriage for them to help them in the wider world and help them grow, grow, essentially, and grow families of their own. I want you to take a journey with me to one of these houses. We've left, left, like, like I, said, I said, the glamour, the glamour and glory, and glory and beautifulness, beautiful, the beauty, beauty of, of the, the inner city, city of the Holy City of Karbala, the shrines, and, and are heading out, out into, the into the suburbs, suburbs which is still the land of Mount Sinai, it's still heaven. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like heaven. 
you go into you go some, into you go into one road, road, you drive down a road, 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 you take a you left, take turn, left turn, turn off the main off road, off the busy road, main road, road, and you go inside, you go inside an area, area where there was where rubble, rubble and rubbish. And rubbish. In the holy in the city holy of Kabbalah, in, in, in genital for a dose, they call it Kabbalah, heaven. In heaven, you see rubbish and rubble everywhere. Where no human being should live. You go inside one of these areas of rubble and find that there's a house. Or a hut, should I call it, behind a pile of rubble. You walk inside, you walk inside this, 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 this hut or this, or this mini house, house or whatever you want to call it, call it and you and see you a mother, mother and her, and her let's say, three, three young, young, young daughters, daughters who have lost, who lost their, their father because their father, because their father, father went down with And you speak to this little girl, she's very small for her age, about eight years old. But very small for her age, very mature for her age. You can see inside she's suffering, but she's trying to hold herself back. And you, and you ask her, ask her what's your story? What's your story? What, happened? what happened? Tell me, little girl, tell me, girl, tell tell me, tell me your story. story. And she looks and at you and she says that, says that Daddy, Daddy never, never came, came home. home. And I, and I wasn't, wasn't sure, sure why. why. I was confused. I was My eyes still warm, warm from the kiss, kiss that he that left me just, me just the other the night. night. I can't I sleep can't tonight, though, because I hear mummy cry. He had a job to do, she would tell me. I kind of understood. I didn't, I didn't really understand, understand why. why. I know that I know he had, that to, he had travel to travel far away, away to protect, protect us from some bad guys, guys and now my and insides hurt, hurt because, because I because, because, he, because said he said he's coming he's back, back and I can't, can't believe he lied. My eyelids are alive to the tears I cried. Dad, are you coming back? Because they're telling me that you died. Baba had to go, he told me. There are some bad people that want to do us harm. He'd hold me hold real, real tight, 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 his loving hands, hands stroking, stroking my palms. My I refuse to live in humiliation, he would say. Would say so we've so taken to arms. arms. They're hijacking, They're hijacking our religion and pretending, and pretending to know our prophet. prophet. There's, nothing There's nothing prophetic about, about their evil, 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 and I will, and I will not stand, stand for it. For it. No, no one else is going to stand up and defend the world against them. The world's against us again, and we're stood firm against them. He kissed me goodbye, right there on the neck. He left a piece of himself there, there just a, a tiny, tiny little speck. speck, speck. The, spectacles, the spectacles, his spectacles, his spectacles almost, almost hanging off his nose. A spectacle, a spectacle awaits him, him, and it's almost as if he knows. knows. I, remember I remember those trips to Arabi. He'd never buy me never anything, buy anything cheap. cheap. Wherever, Wherever I wanted, I wanted to, go, to go, he'd take me. He'd always bring back gifts to keep. He'd tuck me into bed every night before I'd sleep. His hands would dry my tears if ever I would weep. Whenever I loved something, I'd come back home and find it here in my bedroom. The exception was my dad. I kept loving him, but I never found him there. It was a few days later. I heard mum crying. The sun the sat differently in the sky that day. day. Instead of burning strongly amongst the clouds, it lay. My father, My father whose soul is but a peace of mind, didn't return, return from the front line this time. And it's not giving, not giving me peace of mind. And I've never, never known daddy, daddy, daddy to not be on time. And there's a fine line between knowing, knowing something's wrong, wrong and everything, everything being fine. fine. I knew I something was wrong. It could be nothing, but I'm tormented by my mind. Is it shaitan or is it logic telling me that it's all a sign that daddy isn't coming back home this time? My mother came, came into, into our room, room. Not, holding not holding back, back the, tears. the tears. She couldn't, she couldn't hold, hold it in it any longer. Her heart, heart as the shell that she appears. Yeah, the way her voice was trembling, I hope the angel of death could hear. I can't describe the fear that grappled my little heart. Yeah, the fear. She scared me the way she wept. I was just as scared of what she would say. Just as scarred as I was then is how I am scarred today. My love, she said, he is no longer with us. I'm sorry it has to be this way. Your father Father isn't, isn't coming back this back time, my love. My love. He's been taken away. away. Mom, Mom, what do you mean? I answered. Did Daesh da capture him today? today? It's okay, okay Mom. He'll, He'll be safe. safe. We just we need just to kneel down and pray. pray. No. No, no, you don't understand, my love. Your father, your father isn't, isn't coming, coming back. back. He, he left, left the battle, battle but his friend, his friend was left, left behind, behind and he, he wanted, wanted to have to his have brother's his back, so he had back, back and he turned his back, back on everything he had. And he never came back. They found his body. They found his body. Your father is dead, my love. Love, your, father your father is dead, dead and he, he, he isn't coming back. back. It took me a long time to accept it. I expected everything except it. I expected the world to topple on its head, but not for my dad to not be home or never be home whenever I come home for the rest of my life. Be strong, my mom says, once she wipes away all those tears. 
It's, it's time for us to band together. together. Life won't be easy from here. From here on, no dove, no heron will fly above our house, a house like a head without hair on. We'll be without food because we have no bread winner. That's just the way this country is. That's just the way this country is. A widow is a bread loser. We'll have to move out into a hut because we can't afford this rent. But love it like your home, my love. Alhamdulillah, it's better than a tent or better than no place at all. Just like tea and a bit of bread is better than no food at all. Like walking an hour to school is better than no school at all. Like water that isn't clean is better than no water at all. And like having no father now is better than never having had the father in your life. If I could if I do, do anything, anything in this, in this world, world, it would be to turn back the time of the earth and hope that time would reverse and my father would be here and I tell him not to go. He died for something great. I know that doesn't change the fact though that whenever I think about him, my tears like rivers flow. So hold your dad close and don't ever upset him. Hold your dad close and don't ever upset him. Kiss those hands that build day and night just so you can sleep comfortably in peace with no worries or fears that he'll ever let you go because the time you spend with your dad, you'll never get it back once he leaves this world. Some dads die of old age. Some dads die when they're young. And some dads are taken from us, leaving our households broken and struggling. So take, so take care, care of us care orphans. orphans, because my dad, my dad he, died he died for something for great. great. My dad, my dad he was something great. great. <laughs>
I walk, we flock, they mock, they talk, but I erase it with the sparks of love from my two walking feet. For beneath my feet heaven lies, if death I ever meet. Lions lay in, real men begin. I walk and I walk near the lion's hope because I have become one. In fact, I see lions shy away from me when toward them I come. I hush, I crush, in flesh, daesh, every step I take crushes their heads and crushes terrorism. And with every Hajj and Umrah, it crushes the heart. To bring them to shame. Mighty, mighty, mighty weighty, weighty, forty, forty plenty, plenty are the days which we are given to crush all of Hussein's enemies, enemies. And, we and we crush them with our numbers, numbers which cannot which weigh the seven seas. seas. Listen, 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 glisten, hasten, hasten and, and shorten the list of excuses you've chosen to not stand before his grave. Understand that your past betrays you just as much as him you crave. Seize it, seize it, own it, live it, light it, the fire that burns within you. Crying out Hussein's name daily, be the one that reaches his grave and cries out in tears. Finally, cry, cry out, out. Void, of void of blame, blame. heartbreak. Heart Heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. I, I ache, ache awake and alive, alive is the warning of Hussein. Despite, despite how much we have died, died despite, despite how many tears, tear, how, how, how many times our tears for our master, we've had to hide. Names crossed, crossed, hearts tossed, souls lost. What cost? A holocaust of lovers of Hussein that lasted centuries. And now our freedom on the road toward Hussein, the whole world sees. Love chars our scars and stars are ours for every soul that walks toward Hussein. A star watches in awe, the tears enter the the eyes of Pythras, and from Jibra'il they pour, what wonderful fame, so rise up. Rise up, rise up, don't stop, don't swap, don't drop the flag that you're holding to show Abbas that his flag can still fly. Every time you twirl it, it brings joy to his one working eye. Rise up, don't stop, don't swap, don't drop that flag that you're holding to show how vast that flag can still fly. Every time you twirl it, it brings joy to his one working eye. Incite his might with light, your right to walk holding his flag. And every time it flutters, his heart flutters. Remember what he taught you. Beside that flag, nothing else matters. He's kneeling, he's kneeling and healing and wailing, the complaining and whatever else comes to him into his shrine as people beg from him. Him. They beg God and Abu Fawl. They beg God and Abu Fawl, and through him God gives all to them. He cries just the same. So don't fall. Don't fall, don't fail, recall the wail of the daughters of Hussein as they were marched upon that desert. They walk with you as you walk. They walk with you as you walk. Don't you dare question it. Believe it. Don't quit. Don't sit. Commit. Own it. The length of that road shall shorten the road between you and heaven. But what is heaven really? When you're walking towards Ali's children, safely, strongly, proudly, Ali and his son Hussein shall embrace you when at last you reach his shrine. And he'll tell you, I'll come, come to your grave, just, just as you have you come, come to mine, mine. death I overcame. The prayer, the prayer my eyes made, made, made before the heavenly scene, scene, was, Oh Allah, bless me, Aziyad al before, before I became, the same called my name. Before I became, the same called my name. Thanks so much, Mr. Inshallah, I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from all of us. Our deeds, inshallah, and, Allah, and Allah, blesses Allah, all of us with the Jatim Jamal Sayyidina Alayhi Salaam. Thank you so much, Mr. Salaam, Alaikum 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 Alaikum